We're getting in more details. As you well know, within the past hour, we learned that uh, the uh, number of people who've lost their life stand at 50. Uh, the airline says that there was an off-duty air crew member, and that was the discrepancy in the number. But again, uh, a lot of eyewitness accounts about what happened. You're hearing people say it sounded like a mini earthquake. Others say they saw and heard a sputtering and knew that there was something wrong. This is a very close-knit community, Carter, where the plane actually went down. And the folks who live in this community say they're accustomed to hearing the planes, but so many of them repeatedly are saying that they knew something was wrong when this plane essentially fell from the sky. Berkeley Breen from the News Channel has more on what they saw. The death toll is now 50 in this tragedy. Uh, he, there was one more passenger, uh, in fact, a crew member on board this plane. The crash site is not far from here, just about two blocks, but it is still off limits. State police and other emergency crew tell us there are parts of this wreckage that are still on fire. We know that investigators from NTSB are on their way here to try to get to this site, find the black box, and figure out why this plane crashed. Continental Flight 3407 was on final approach to Buffalo Niagara Airport, only 10 miles away, when something went terribly wrong. Well, then all of a sudden I just heard like a big popping noise, and I look out my window, and like the whole sky illuminated with like orange flames. Witnesses say they could hear the plane flying loudly and much lower than normal before it slammed into the quiet suburban neighborhood. Flames shot into the night sky as firefighters called out to any survivors. Officials say there were none. All 44 passengers and four crew on board were killed, as well as one person on the ground. The mother and the daughter were screaming like they said they didn't know where their husband was. The Bombardier Dash 8 plane was a Continental Express flight operated by Colgan Air and on its way from Newark, New Jersey to Buffalo when it went down in the suburb of Clarence Center, New York. Officials say there was light snow in the area and very little communication to the tower from the plane's crew before the crash. This aircraft was five miles out, and all of a sudden we have no response to that aircraft. A team from the FAA is expected on scene this morning to begin its investigation. Police have not released the names of the victims, the people on the plane, but we do know that one of them, was the widow of a 9-11 victim. Beverly Eckert is, is, is her name, and she was flying back here to go to a ceremony honoring a scholarship in her husband's name. In, Buff in Buffalo, Berkeley Breen, NBC News, now back to you.